WTX News 10. Good evening and thank you for staying up late with us Central Texas. I'm Chantal Rob. Two years ago today, state trooper Chad Walker was shot and killed in the line of duty in Mejia. News 10's Alex Fulton caught up with those close to him who say the community of Grosbeck is still mourning the loss of one of their own. His lack of presence here is, is still very noticeable. Rows and rows of pews at the Living Proof Church and on any given Sunday, you'll no longer find Trooper Chad Walker sitting there. There's obvious, you know, empty chairs, you know. At, we, we don't have assigned seating, but, you know, a lot of people sit in the same place every Sunday. And, and you notice when someone's not there. It's been two years since he was shot multiple times through the windshield of his patrol unit as he was stopping to help what he thought was a stranded motorist. I mean, it was somber for quite some time. And it, and it wasn't just us, but the whole town was affected by it. Pastor John Carabin says Trooper Walker was heavily involved with his church and served as the brains behind the barbecue contest at their annual 9-11 service. But it's gotten so big we can't cook all the food ourselves, and so Chad organized a barbecue contest. And so now we have this brisket cook-off, and like this last year we went through 52 briskets. Meanwhile, Trooper Walker's grandparents still have photos that serve as a somber reminder of what happened. It's a situation where, by us, you have to learn to adjust and live with it, but you never forget it. It's always in front of you. Dennis Walker says he hopes his grandson's death can teach folks about the sacrifice law enforcement make on a day-to-day -day basis. If I had a wish out of it, I'd wish that there'd be something come out of it that would help bring people together and, and particularly support law enforcement. Because people that haven't been there just don't understand. In Grosbeck, Alex Fulton, KWTX News 10. D. Arthur Pinston Jr., the man accused of killing Trooper Walker, took his own life before he could be taken into custody. Police previously connected Pinston Jr. to the murder of another man, Dustin Rogers, just a week before Trooper Walker pulled him over.